Yo, what is good, Guardians? Welcome to another Destiny 2 video from Ultimate Casual Gaming, the home for the casual gamer. I'm just flexing. Now, I know it's been a minute, but in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and feelings on the state of Destiny 2. What I feel about the direction that Bungie has taken to this point, their missteps along the way, and how it's impacted me as a content creator. I know, I don't, I know that I'm not like the major content creators, and I've been at this for just about five or six months now, but the state of the game, guys, has had an impact on all content creators, both big and small. First, let me acknowledge what my followers likely already have noticed. I haven't been posting a lot of Destiny 2 content lately. In fact, I haven't been posting much content at all. Uh, and the reason for that is there hasn't been much D2 content for me to cover over the past few months. Consequently, my pace has slowed considerably. Now, here's what I want to say about that. I, like many other content creators, have had to do some soul searching. The reality is that I didn't want to admit it, but I've become very disenchanted with this game after being absolutely obsessed with the original Destiny. I'm not going to go into uh, what I loved about Destiny versus Destiny 2 directly, um, but there's definitely something missing. And I told myself that maybe I was just burning out of the game. I mean, I've been playing Destiny since the beta in 2014. That's almost four full years of one game. And I didn't let up at all over those years. I mean, it was the game that planted the seed for me to want to even become a content creator. I loved watching Destiny content on YouTube as well. It was one of my favorite things to do when I wasn't actually playing the game. So what has left me disenchanted? And how has this impacted my desire and willingness to create and post D2 content? Now, if you guys can, just bear with me a little bit. This will be a, a, a decent sized video, but I do want to get a lot off my chest and talk about the future of the channel. Now, as I said, I had to do some soul searching. I have consistently asked, why don't I play this game as much as I once did? Am I really burnt out? Well, the first thing I had to recognize was that while I may have been willing to keep playing at a regular pace, my friends were not. For all their own reasons, many of the guys that I had played with regularly for years were just leaving the game. They weren't as drawn to it anymore. Most of them didn't play PvP, and the PvE endgame left them wanting. We didn't even finish the raid, guys. I mean, we kept getting stuck on Callus, um, but ultimately, they just moved on to other games. And this made it really difficult for me to stay plugged in, because we all know what this game is at heart. Um, it's a social experience. And this was a major, major piece of my disenchantment. And while I went through a period like this in D1, um, I was starting to... You know, I was willing to jump, start jumping on third-party sites to find people and do raids with in D1. Um, it's, it's just harder for me now. In my heart, I'm disappointed that I'll have to start over with, with all new folks. I don't know if I have it in me this time. Uh, those relationships were built over years, and it bums me out not to play with those guys anymore. Now, the next thing I identified as a cost of my disenchantment was the state of PvP. You see, even when D1 was struggling to find its path, I could always log on and seek to improve my skills uh, in the Crucible. You know, I was such a novice in the beginning, but man, it was still fun. I always had a great time, even when I was stinking up the joint. I mean, I marveled at the skill of other players that would defeat me consistently time and time again, and I aspired to just learn to be anywhere near as good as they were. Um, to practice their moves, to improve my KD. I mean, I can honestly say, I, and D2, I just don't get that feeling anymore with the PvP. Now, I understand why they made the changes they made, and at first I was all in. I mean, I love the feeling of more primary gunplay. I enjoyed that you couldn't depend on abilities so much to get kills. Uh, I enjoyed the snipers and shotguns weren't just reigning supreme all over the Crucible. However, something was missing. Now, I've heard all the arguments about the lack of supers, the de decreased in-air accuracy, team shotting, and the like. I mean, I hear all that. And frankly, my personal opinion is I think it's all of that, but most importantly, I think Bungie made some mistakes with taking those shotguns and fusions and snipers and putting them in the power slot. Um, say what you will about them, and facing skilled people with those weapons was definitely a bear, um, but they were fun weapons, and they added so much character to the Crucible. If you bunched up and tried to team shoot a sniper, he would likely get a triple down in D1. I mean, that's why you just didn't do it. I also acknowledge that reducing the number of supers didn't help either. I think that's also contributed to the rise of, of people packing, you know, running around in packs and, and team shooting. Um, they have no fear of getting wiped out by multiple, um, multiple times by supers. Um, look, the reality is 
um, it just isn't as fun in the crucible anymore. And, and I don't frankly have all the answers. I'll leave that to the folks who really know the crucible. I just know that, that it isn't the draw it once was for me. And, and without that, I've had nothing pulling me back to the game when PVE hits its stale patches, you know, with lack of content. Um, the final thing I'll acknowledge um, for my lack of love for Destiny 2 had to be the overall disappointment and watching the community slowly die. Those of us who stayed with D1 through all of its ups and, ups and downs um, knew that the one, one of the, well, know that the, one of the primary reasons we stayed was because the community was so strong. I mean, we watched different YouTube and Twitch personalities emerge um, with this game, and I, for one, became a huge advocate for the game and its community. While I didn't attend events, events like Guardian Con, it gave me a huge sense of pride to see what the community could do um, when it got together and put its mind to doing something. Fast forward to now, and you can't help but be depressed. I mean, the Destiny community has become a shell of what it once was, and while there are still staunch advocates for the game out there, the vast majority of the community has moved on. I mean, like I said, it's been really, really sad to see. Look, many are, are angry that Bungie took so many steps back with Destiny 2, that they removed so much of what had been um, great about the first game. And you know, I tried to be open-minded and even defended Bungie for quite some time, but I have to acknowledge what's right there in front of me. The game has been very disappointing and people were rightfully upset about what happened to their favorite game. I can admit that now, after months of waiting for Bungie to correct the situation. And, and look, I'm not going to hypothesize about why they made the, chases, the choices that they made. I mean, I don't work for them, I never have. I've never worked for a video game developer, and frankly, most of us never have. We can all guess, we can speculate, but unless Bungie tells us, we'll never truly know. What I do know is that there were business decisions driving a lot of it, and as someone who's a professional marketer, and I earn my living as a marketing director, I can say that sometimes businesses make bad decisions, but they rarely do so with malicious intent. I seriously doubt that the leaders at Bungie expected what has happened to their game. I mean, it must hurt, and as someone who has launched products before that haven't succeeded, I can tell you that it stays with you for the rest of your life. I'm sure that the folks at Bungie want to rectify this situation, um, but frankly, it may be too late. They have lost a lot, of, a lot of goodwill in this community, and many are simply too angry and frustrated to return, and that's unfortunate. With all that said, let's, let's get back to, to this channel and its future. I launched this channel because of Destiny and Destiny 2, but I also wanted to be able to cre create content on other games I enjoy. Honestly, I've been so saddened about what has happened to Destiny 2 that it made me not want to create content. And the reality is that I create content as a hobby because it's something I enjoy. When I'm not enjoying things, I find it hard to create content. However, I plan to move forward and get back to my favorite hobby. I mean, I still play Destiny 2 weekly, and I'm encouraged by the roadmap that's been laid out um, by the devs at Bungie. So I, I plan to get back to making content on the game on a more regular basis. I hope I can come up with some interesting content that some of you guys who still follow Destiny 2 um, that you like. Um, but we'll see. There's actually a lot to talk about now. Actually, the new weapons, sandbox updates, um, the new spring DLCs coming, uh, the roadmap for the future that they laid out um, with, with content fixes and, and, and all kinds of other things, uh, and the large expansion that's planned for the fall. So there is content out there um, that I plan to cover. But additionally, I'm going to continue to make content for other games I'm playing, like Monster Hunter World, Assassin's Creed Origins, and NBA Live. I mean, they may be just simply um, playthroughs and such, but I want to put content up. And I hope that doesn't turn some of you guys off to the channel, but, but I'm a gamer at heart, and talking about all kinds of games is what brings me joy. I think you guys can understand that. So, as always, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch this video. Uh, if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing and joining our growing family. There is content for sure that's going to be coming out more frequently. Um, but that's all for now. A sincere thanks to all of you guys who follow the channel, both casual and hardcore. Now let's go and get our game on.